Well, this weekend's 6th Annual Wisconsin Grilled Cheese Championship <laughs> invited contestants to cook up their best recipes and put them to the test. And joining us now are this year's Best in Show awardees, Carrie Simon and Leave Savon Savano. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. You brought oh, the hardware. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Well, you get a trophy like that, you got to show it. <laughs> yeah. Dairy, dairy, lemon berry. You should that win is... for the title alone. Well, thank you. Yes, it is just as delicious as it sounds, actually. And it, it's a dessert That's grilled right. cheese. Mm -hmm. Never heard of such a thing. There were four categories in the competition, and dessert was one of the most unusual ones. So we uh, we tackled that. We have some experience making dessert-type sandwiches because we wrote a cookbook about pudgy pies. Yep, let's hold that up. Um, the pudgy, pudgy revolution. revolution. <laughs> and so uh, for those of you who don't know, a pudgy pie is basically just a grilled cheese sandwich cooked in a pie iron over a fire. Um, and so we took one of our recipes from that book um, and sort of adapted it and made it fancier and more competition worthy and that's how we arrived at our our dessert grilled cheese sandwich champion. Leave, break it down for us. Tell us a little bit about what's in the dessert. So it is lemon poppy seed bread toasted up in butter and then we have three kinds of cheese in there. The sandwich requirements it needed to be 60% cheese. So we have a blueberry goat cheese, a mascarpone and then a fresh goat chev mixed with basil and lemon zest. And there's a balsamic blueberry jam in there, some lemon curd, and some toasted pine nuts, and it's all atop a lemon basil glaze. So you just kept adding stuff? Or how did you come up with this? <laughs> sort of. We did a lot of taste testing, yes. Um, what kind of we, comments did you get from the judges? That we didn't actually get any feedback oh, really? from the judges other than our score, which was really <laughs> very positive. So um, people seemed to like it. The crowd was, it was interesting because some of the crowd members were able to taste it and, and people were really giving us a lot of good feedback from the crowd. How did um, you melt the cheese? Did you do it on a pie iron? Is that how you cooked it? That's a great question. So you have a 12 inch skillet and everybody has the same type of burner. And you have to make two sandwiches in that skillet. So we browned the butter on one side, took it off, put our spread on, put it back in the pan, and then layered in our cheese and other ingredients. So you didn't use a pie iron? No, we weren't allowed to use a pie enough. iron. <laughs> yeah. But it did give us the inspiration. Now we might want to try the uh, state pie iron championship there competition. Is such a thing? No, we're going to invent it. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> How did you two get together to put this book together? We have been friends since we were 13. Mm -hmm. wow. So we were, we've been camping together and cooking together for a long, long time. Yeah. And, and the two of us, plus our third co-author, Jared Pierce, we've just been testing recipes and people would say to us, man, you, this is so good, you guys should write a cookbook. And 10 years later, we did. Yeah. And volume two is on the way. <laughs> yep, we're working on a second book. Check us out at PudgyRevolution.com or like us on Facebook to check out our new recipes as we're working on different uh, testing some new ideas. We you like you beat them. out how many other grilled cheeses in your category, do you know? Um, in our category, there were 20 total, including us. So, But oh, in the whole competition, where you get the big trophy, Can we there try were it? over 100. Please yeah. do, yes. We, we brought it. one for you to sample here. Now, is it meant to, to, do you normally pick it up like a grilled cheese, or is it a little more challenging to eat? You certainly can, if you're not afraid to get this your hands good. a little Go for it. This, this could be. Go, ahead, go for it. <laughs> As with all delicious things, it's a little bit messy. Oh. So Yes. <laughs> Holy cow. Is that good? <laughs> is it good? It looks so good. The colors are so beautiful, too. We thought Thank that was you. sort of an unusual approach. We saw a lot of people working with chocolate and berries and things, and those sandwiches mm. looked really yummy, too. Mm. But Because mm. when you think of grilled cheese, you don't think of dessert. No, you don't. That was an extra challenge to try to think outside the box on that. Okay. I'm not just saying that, you guys. That is delicious. <laughs> Thank delicious. you. That is really Thank delicious. You. Well, congratulations, congratulations again. Thank you. Thanks so much for having us. Check out the recipes online and pick up the Pudgy Revolution. That's right. Do you need to open fire to, to do a... No, you can do it on a barbecue grill. You could even do it on a camp stove. Or... Oh, I sense another segment coming on. <laughs> so. We'll come, come back and, back and, we'll and make your Pudgy Pies just do for pudgy sure. Pies. We might have to do a whole hour on Pudgy Pies. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Congratulations. congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. This is really good. It is really good.